Welcome everyone to the Rare Retirement Whiteboard. My name is John McNamara, Highball Advisors, and we're going to talk about protecting that survivor annuity before before railroad retirement. Really important subject. Uh, I say that a lot, but this one is really important because it affects your family, right? And at the end of the day, it's all about family. So, what is the survivor annuity? Survivor annuity is the uh, the annuity payments that the railroad retirement board would pay your uh, uh, your spouse in case something unfortunate happens to you. Okay, so. Uh, there's two parts to the survivor annuity, just like there is to your railroad retirement annuity, right? Tier one and tier two. Okay. Now, what happens is uh, everything's fine if you know you work your whole life and you go through the railroad and then you collect your railroad retirement annuity. You have no risk to your survivor annuity. That's fine. However, what happens is people accumulate a lot of years working for the railroad—20, 25, 30 years, right? and they leave the railroad before they can actually retire. So right, there's that window of risk from when you retire until you collect your uh, railroad retirement annuity where your survivor benefits are in jeopardy. And, we're and in this video, what we're gonna talk about is protecting that window from when you leave the railroad to when you collect railroad retirement, protecting that, right? So. How can you lose your survivor annuity, right? You lose your current connection to the railroad. So if you haven't worked to, you know, 12 months, the last 30 months, because you left the railroad, you can lose your current connection. If you go work for a non-railroad employer, you lose your current connection. So what's the ramifications of that? If I lose my current connection, something unfortunate happens, and I haven't hit the retirement age yet. Well, your spouse would not collect the tier two benefits, which you've, been paying into and worked your whole career for, right? Worked hard, uh, he or she would directly go into the social security system, which would pay out the tier one part of your railroad retirement annuity, but it's actually social security. You're no longer dealing with the railroad retirement board. Straight to social security you go, and, and all those tier two um, amounts are, are gone. So they, they can't collect those, right? So let me work through an example here. So let's take a, uh, let's say a 22-year-old, they enter the railroad, right, out of college or out of military service, something like that. They start at 22, they work 30 years, 52, they said, I'm done, or they've been asked to leave after 30 years, I'm leaving the railroad, right? However, this gap here, they can't collect their railroad retirement until 60, right? Now they have 30 years right, of paying into tier two, and we know that is valuable. So let's just look at the, this part here. The 2000, let's say they're gonna get $2,000 a month at the age of 60 for their tier two uh, portion of the railroad retirement. All right, so that's a significant amount of income. So how do you, you gotta put a value on that, right? $2,000 a month, and what is that worth? Well, if I go out, and the way I value it, and if you've seen my previous videos, pretty much the only way to really value it, is if you go, well, I can go to an insurance company and go buy an immediate annuity and say to them, I would like uh, $2,000 a month of uh, retirement income. And they say, fine, $2,000 a month, please hand me a half a million dollars. <laughs> okay, well here, out of my pocket, right? So it's $2,000, to get 2,000, it costs you like a half a million dollars. So from 52 to 60, if you are gonna lose your tier two, you have a half a million dollars worth of risk here, right? That I don't believe railroaders are really fully comprehending the risk here. So you need to get some sort of uh, term life insurance for those eight years, in this example, eight years, and some people might only be three years or it might be five years or 10 years, depending upon how you wanna do, right? So the first thing you wanna do is figure out, okay, when am I retiring? Right, I've left the railroad maybe at 50, and I'm gonna, and I have, uh, you know, 20 or 30 years at 50, let's say. So I'm gonna retire at 60. So I have 10 years I have to cover, right? So now I gotta put a value on the tier two, and I just did that, right? So in this case, put a value on it, replacement income. If I'm gonna get $2,000 for my tier two, what's the replacement value? And it's almost a half million dollars. So I've got to go out and find a, a uh, term life policy. Uh, in this case, right, that's eight years, but 
Nobody does an eight-year term life policy, right? You can't find those. I'll go out and purchase a 10-year term life policy, right? And I'll just pay it for eight years. Maybe I'll keep it the extra two. I don't know. Maybe it's a good rate, right? But eight years, I'll just pay it for eight years. And now I'll have, uh, I'll do an eight-year policy for a half a million dollars. And let's say that will cost, you know, between $500,000 a year. But at least I've covered this risk because I have a half a million dollar asset. This is an asset that needs to be protected and you can protect that with a term life policy. So, um, like I said in the beginning, this is a really important subject, all right? Taking care of the family is important and understanding the risk of losing that survivor annuity because you don't want to say something happens in between here and you're moving uh, your, um, he or she down to Social Security, and you've paid. You've worked really hard for that uh, survivor annuity, especially that tier two portion of your survivor annuity, and, and they deserve that. So I hope you find this helpful. Reach out to me if you have any questions. Uh, I do free 15-minute meetings. You can schedule those. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, down at the bottom of the corner there. Get the updates on these videos like that, and uh, everyone. Please stay safe, stay on track, and take care. So long, everybody. Bye.